my name is Wendy Reed and we're going to be learning a little bit about graphing today. So what we have here is a, um, a coordinate plane. Okay. So this is going to be our quadrant one. Okay. In quadrant one, we have an X axis and a Y axis. And in quadrant one, both your X and your Y are going to be positive. Okay. Then we have quadrant two, as you can see, there's some negative numbers as well. In quadrant two, we have a negative x, but still a positive y. Okay? Down here we have a quadrant three, and if you notice there's a pattern, now our x is negative, but also our y. So for quadrant three, we have a negative x, and also a negative y. And of course we have our quadrant four. which is going to be a positive x, and this time a negative y. Okay, that's just the basics. As you can see, here's my x-axis, and here's my y-axis. Positive, positive, negative, negative. Okay? Now, with an ordered pair, you have your x and your y always. Always go with the x-axis first, then the y-axis. So let's look at a graph. Um, let's say we have an equation that is y equals 2x, plus one, okay? You can always create a table. And what a table is, is you pick numbers for your x and you plug it in to find numbers for your y. So for example, let's pick some numbers. Um, we'll do negative one, zero, and positive one, okay? Now if I plug negative one, it's, it's x, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in for x. So we get y is equal to two, times negative one plus one, okay? You'll multiply, two times negative one is negative two plus one. Negative two plus one is negative one. So our y on this one is gonna be negative one. Do it again for zero. So you get y is equal to two times zero plus one, and of course, 2 times 0 is just 0, so plus 1 would be 1. So we get a 1 for that one. Then do it again for 1. You get y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So here is your three coordinate, or your three ordered pairs, rather. Okay? So your first one is negative 1, negative 1. So you start at your origin. This is your origin. Okay? You go to negative 1 on the x-axis, and then you go negative 1 on the y-axis, and you would put a dot there. And that's the point negative 1, negative 1. And that's in quadrant 3, because they're both negative. And that'll give you kind of a, a, a hint. See how they're both negative? That automatically tells you they're going to be in quadrant 3. And then you got your second one, 0, 1. That means 0 means I don't move on the x-axis at all. So I'm going to stay right here. And then I go one on the y-axis, so I just move up, and it ends up being on the y-axis. And then you've got the point one, three. You go over one, and see how they're both positive? So that tells you they're gonna be in quadrant one. So one, three, positive one, and then up, positive three. It's not making no line. Oh, yes, it is, okay. So there you've got your three dots. And you can now just connect the dots with a ruler or straight edge of any kind. And there is your line. And that's how you craft. 